lot of mark check for me don't check for me unless you got checks for me. I kept a stick like a hobo, no checking me. Way back when d lo had to spot and trust the tree. So me, they get up, I said to me. What is up, guys? It's Upcom Sports here with my reaction to game two of the NBA Finals between the Warriors and the Raptors. The link to the MLG highlights video will be in the description. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button with notifications on so you don't miss a video. But the Raptors did lose in a pretty close one by five points to Golden State at home. So... Clay, I gotta say, was amazing in the first quarter. He kept them in it because the Raptors definitely looked like they were a better team. Shooting very good from the field and Warriors were not shooting good at all. Curry was, I think, 0 for 6 in the first quarter and then he finally got off in the second. But the Raptors really disappointed me. Warriors were super vulnerable without KD. Clay actually got injured and then Cousins not at 100%. I don't know how they didn't pull this game off. So there were points in this game when I really thought the Raptors were going to take a huge lead, like a 20 point lead, but Clay just came down and hit big shots. A couple guys hit some big shots for the Warriors. Quinn Cook hit three threes that were huge in the third quarter and just a bunch of runs by Golden State and the Raptors were never able to really incre increase their lead, but Siakam really disappointed. I don't know where he was. We'll get into that a little bit later. But yeah, the Warriors, very crucial minutes from some very crucial guys. I also got to point out, Draymond Green was a beast in this game. He, As he always does, he did a little bit of everything. Passing, assisting, rebounding. He almost had another triple-double. I think he was one assist away from a triple-double. And you guys know, when Draymond has triple-doubles or close to those numbers, Warriors usually win. Except for game one, which kind of a fluke. But they didn't play the best. But Draymond, his defense on Pascal Siakam, he said he was going to do better, and he did. Pretty much locked him up. I didn't even know he was playing. My question is, where was Pascal Siakam? After dropping 32 in one of the most efficient games in a finals, 14 for 17 shooting, I, pr I, didn't, I swear to you, I didn't even know Siakam was playing. I forgot Siakam was on the Raptors. That's how bad, like... He didn't even play bad. He just wasn't taking shots. He wasn't looking for anything. Van Vliet was amazing though. But Siakam, you need to be more consistent, bro. Like you can't drop 32 and come back and not have at least 20. You gotta be more consistent. It wasn't just Siakam though that went missing. Kawhi and Van Vliet literally carried this Raptors offense for huge stretches of this game. Van Vliet is on a tear. I don't know what's wrong with Van Vliet, but like he just can't miss hit some huge shots just to keep this Raptors team in it and give them some big leads but Quinn Cook obviously played minute, big minutes for the Warriors Kawhi very I don't say Kawhi is playing good but he's playing well enough to keep the Raptors in these games he didn't take over in the fourth my biggest takeaway from this game still is the Warriors still need Kevin Durant to win this series I don't care how bad the Raptors were playing even if without Clay. They still won. Iggy hitting big shots. They still need Kevin Durant to win this series. The Raptors are too good defensively. They were playing box on one on Curry. Like, Curry got nothing. You guys saw in that last five-minute stretch of the fourth quarter, the Warriors could not score, but neither could the Raptors. So, they didn't take advantage, but they need KD back, especially if Clay is going to be injured and they don't have Cousins at 100%. Even though he played good this game, they still need Kevin Durant just to free up Curry so he can get some more open shots. But... Leave a like, leave your reactions down below, road to 400.